I've done two master's degrees, one of which I was doing while I was living at Goodenough College in art history. So I moved over to the study of art crime, um, which is a completely new field. And believe it or not, this has not been studied before, although when everyone comes to it, they think, oh, this is, a, this is something that's both necessary and of interest. And it seems to have just slipped under the radar for um, police, for criminologists, for historians, art historians. It falls either in all of those categories or none of them, depending on the way you spin. I've been living in Cambridge for four years now and it's a wonderful place to study and to live. It's incredibly beautiful. It looks like the backdrop for a film and it looks just like the Harry Potter movies. We wear our academic robes and we get all dressed up and we're served by butlers. They bang a gong before dinner starts and someone stands up and says grace in Latin. And it's a wonderful, rich atmosphere, really inspiring both for studies and for the imagination. The Art Thief is a novel set in three of the world's most art-filled cities in Rome, Paris, and London, and it follows the theft of three paintings and the paths through which the stolen paintings travel, with smugglers, forgers, thieves involved, and the detectives pursuing them. And my concept was that we, the viewers, follow the stolen paintings and not an individual human protagonist. And that made it a challenge to write, and I think it was interesting as a process to follow the objects rather than an individual person as most narratives would. All of the facts stated in the book are completely correct and thoroughly researched, and all of the elements of it are plausible within the context of the art world. And it's funny because I come across sometimes as presenting a character or a situation that seems unbelievable, even in a work of fiction. And no matter what I do, it still seems unbelievable, even though these are actually based on real people, and in some cases, there's slight variations on actual people that I know. So sometimes, truth can be so much more unbelievable than fiction is, and it makes for certainly interesting cast of characters, I think.